Hey guys, what is up? Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to go ahead and be answering a couple questions that you guys sent in for me. So let's go ahead and get started. Perfect. Hey guys, what is up? Welcome back to my channel. It's your girl, Yellow Jade. And today we are going to go ahead and be answering some questions that you guys had for me. And to be honest, this video is long overdue. It should have done and been filmed, sis. But we are here today and that is all that matters. So let's go ahead and get started. <laughs> Alright, so this first question says, what's the most challenging thing you've had to overcome as an influencer and what are your tips for staying motivated and growing your Instagram? Okay, so let's start with the first part of the question. I feel like the most challenging thing for sure is kind of being able to disconnect my emotions um, from somebody that I don't know. So my advice when it comes to that would be don't waste any time on somebody with some Dorito fingers, type it on their keyboard, some hate to you. Cause I ain't gonna be losing any more sleep over that type of mess, honey. <laughs> um, and then my tips for staying motivated and growing your Instagram, okay. So my tips for staying motivated would be taking enough time for yourself to be able to continue to evolve as an artist. So we are so consumed with so many other things across social media. We're constantly comparing ourselves and really just being overstimulated when it comes to everything. <laughs> so I would suggest really taking a step back to yourself, whether it be um, a nice bubble bath, nice candles, reading your favorite book, or it be out on an adventure with nature, or even simply, one of my friends told me this, grounding yourself. Being able to take your shoes off, plant yourself in nature, have your feet in the sand or in the grass, and really just recenter your entire aura because, honey, I know what it feels like to be overwhelmed and stressed out. And after my friend Caitlin went ahead and told me this, I was like, okay, we gotta try this because if y'all don't know, I'm an empath and I get really emotional <laughs> very easy. I f tend to take in other people's energies a lot. So for me, I just had to learn to take a step back and just recenter my entire energy. Also, tips for growing your Instagram. I would say just be consistent, but also don't oversaturate your um, feed. Don't think that you need to post literally every single day and it needs to always be bomb content because, honey, that that's just not how it is. I really stressed the fact of quality versus quantity and when you do put something out there make sure it's authentic make sure it's you um and if it is you then there should be no problem with it i would say if your engagement is kind of low put more of yourself out there if you're an artist trying to struggle getting traction making yourself um more known collaboration shout outs um Building your own type of network really, really helps with growing a genuine following. So this next question says, what movie title best describes your life and current situation? What movie title best describes my life and current situation? If you would have asked me this a couple weeks ago, I would have said Titanic because, not because of the love story, just because I felt like my entire life was kind of just on a ship just sinking slowly and I didn't know how to kind of fix this um, but I would say my the movie title that currently describes my situation would be um, one eternity later <laughs> That's all our damn time, folks. <laughs> we'll come back to that one. 
All right, and then this next question that I have says, any tips for photo shoots with the phone? Now, I would say when you are taking portraits with your phone, make sure you find some good lighting. It's all about lighting, at least for me it is. I love good lighting. I feel like with that, it makes things so much more easier. And if you don't have any lighting equipment or any fancy equipment at all, outside during golden light or early morning is going to be your best friend. Like, I'm telling you, it makes things so much more aesthetic, so much more easier because you're using the natural light of the sun and it's doing all the work for you. And another piece of advice that I would give is to get creative with it. Just because you see certain people taking pictures a certain way doesn't mean you have to try to emulate that. Honestly, put your own twist on things. Have fun with it. Especially during this whole pandemic and the world going berserk. This is a perfect time to like get out of your comfort zone and do things for you because sad about all the things that have happened recently but also you have to think about it has forced the world to kind of slow down on certain things so this is the perfect time to just have fun with it <laughs> all right so this next question says how do you deal with insecurities and doubt so i feel like what helps me deal with my insecurities is the fact that I know who I am as a person and I know that my body is literally my effing body, nobody else's, and what my body deserves is endless love from me because at the end of the day, we can't rely on other people to respect us, value us. Um, treat us kindly we really can't but we can always count on us being able to do that for ourselves um, and I feel like me being able to kind of see the pivot point of it all and go from oh my god my stomach is like chubby like my arms my ass like whatever it may be to, oh, I look bomb, Ooh, I look cute, Ooh, look at this makeup, look at this hair, hunty, look at all of this. I feel like me being able to do that and hype my own self up has really helped me kind of deal with the insecurities, but I just, I'm not sh quite sure how to explain it, but when you have this moment where everything just kind of clicks like that, I don't know it just happens like don't get me wrong I have my days where I'm like oh gosh I guess more so I would say put your energy in more of a positive direction even if there's things you don't like about yourself and learn to embrace it because like I said at the end of the day our body deserves as much love as we desire so just love yourself like I don't know how how else to put it just love yourself and again it's easier said than done but you can definitely take little steps each and every day by stating things that you love instead of focusing on things you hate okay so this next question says where do you see yourself in the next five years so for the next five years i definitely see myself um either <laughs> it's like complete opposite like i i don't have a full vision but um I definitely see myself owning a house and traveling. I can't say this enough, but traveling just makes me literally so happy, so content because it strips away everything and really you are just out there with nature and life and its purest form. So that is definitely one of my major goals in the next five years is to be able to kind of go anywhere I want and I already have a passport sis so we just waiting for this virus to calm down a little bit but definitely owning a house um, and also having my own brand I don't want to say any specifics but I definitely can see that happening <laughs> All right, so this next question says, how do you find bras that fit you? Please share your knowledge. So when, a couple of years ago, I honestly, I think almost every woman at some point in their life has worn the wrong bra size. And I definitely was guilty of it. I had 
a bra that had to been at least two or three sizes too small, honey, and it was uncomfortable. My boobs always hurt. Um, but yeah, I just went to a specialized bra fit stylist thing. Um, you can honestly Google it. Fuller Bust boutiques do exist. Um, and I would suggest getting fitted for your bra in person because it's so much easier. So I would definitely would suggest going to um, like a boutique, but where I personally order them now that I know my size, um, I'll order them off Amazon. I'll order them from Curvy Kate. You can go to Panache's website as well, Cleo by Panache, Sculptress. There is so many bra brands out there that um, cater to more fuller busted women, especially if you're, um, what is this called? <laughs> especially if you're, um, oh my gosh, I'm totally, you know, your band size. Okay, so especially if your band size is very petite to compared to your bust, um, there's so many brands that are up and coming. I would say Instagram is going to be your best friend for finding some sort of cute bras that are in bigger sizes and not just black, white, and nude. Cause girl, we over that. <laughs> All right, so this next question that I'm answering is, what do you love most about creating videos? I feel like this is such an easy answer and it's because I can really just do whatever I want to do. I can film whatever I want. I can have an idea one day and then the next day literally just go ahead and fulfill it and execute it. It's just... There's just something so um, gratifying to be able to have an idea and see it come to life. And also being able to connect with you guys. I never would have even guessed, like I know the internet is like the world, but I never would have even thought starting this journey that I would be talking to people from Greece, from Australia. I've met so many amazing people, so I feel like what I love most is just being able to release my creative energy out there into the world and also to build friendships and be able to connect with people from all across the world as well. That is definitely one of my favorite things ever and also the fact that I can do whatever I want to do without anybody telling me what I can and can't do. <laughs> Alright, so this next question is how do you stay motivated in the gym and working out, etc.? So, trust me girl, it's a struggle sometimes, but I feel like I've gotten to the point now where it's just in my routine. After I did that 100 burpees challenge, like, there was no going back. I put way too much time and energy into that entire self experiment and to like really push myself that after that 100 burpees, that month of 100 burpees was up, um, I, I couldn't go back to how I was. Like it just was like programmed in me like, let's get this workout in, let's do this, let's sweat. And to be honest, the main thing that motivates me is because I'm like addicted to the feeling after like during it not so much like it's torture sometimes to just like get through it but it's the after where I just feel so good and so proud of myself for being able to do that workout and get through XYZ and then do it all again tomorrow but yeah I feel like the main thing that just keeps me going with it is because I found the balance in order to like release any type of pent up energy I had or any type of negativity from my day or anything like because as I'm working out I don't have time to like worry or stress about things like that's why they say fitness and working out and being active just helps release stress and releases endorphins because honey it just you feel so much better after you do it and also um i feel like since i have been more consistent with eating healthier and working out more my migraines fingers crossed knock on wood somewhere knock on wood <laughs> um have been at a minimum as well so definitely the health benefits of it all just 
have really just been keeping me motivated and keeping me staying on track because I was at a point where I was taking pain medication, literally no exaggeration, every single day because my back was in so much pain just because of the extra weight that I had and I'm already a pretty heavy chested woman. Um, so I just, I was at a point where all I could think of that could help me was a breast reduction and I even researched, I even looked at certain plastic surgeons, but also I guess I'm glad I'm kind of broke and <laughs> scared of surgery because I've never even broken a bone. Um, but I, I guess I'm glad that I couldn't even afford the damn thing because the only other option was for me to work out, sis. Not go under the knife or anything else like that. So here we are, we still got big boobies, but my back doesn't hurt, my energy has been so much better, and overall I feel like just more comfortable and confident in my own body. Not because, you know, I lost a couple pounds here and there, but also because just daily life in my body has just been feeling so much more comfortable and easier instead of being out of breath on the third flight of stairs. <laughs> Alright, so this next question says, why would you name yourself Yellow Jade and does it have any special meaning to you? So, when I first picked Yellow Jade, it more so picked me like yellow is my favorite color and jade is more so my alter ego she's the girl that doesn't give a f what anybody has to think and um i feel like it's more so me just amplified <laughs> but when i actually search the meaning of yellow jade if you guys don't know it is a natural stone um, but when I came across the meaning of it all and what it stood for, what it represented, it really just solidified everything. And this is a crazy thing is like I didn't even search what the meaning of Yellow Jade was until like recently. And I feel like that's exactly my reasoning for like why I feel like it just chose me because when I read you guys this, it's going to be like, what? Okay, so one of the key points was that Yellow Jade stands for confidence, prosperity, and luck. And I feel like ever since I started this channel, that is exactly what I have been radiating. And with luck, I feel like, yes, definitely it has been on my side. But without hard work, trust me, I feel like no, there would be no luck at all. Also, another meaning for it says that it helps take away fear, worry, and doubt. Now, that is the physical form of the yellow jade. That is supposed to be what it helps with. And to be honest, I feel like that represents me as well because there's been so many conversations I've had with my subscribers. Um, and even if it's me just hyping them up to get them past the point of fear or past the point of worrying like girl like i feel like i'm doing that and also another thing about yellow jade is that is a fire vibration and it brings wisdom and connection and I feel like that is another thing that just goes right along with it. I have been able to help build a community up of women, men, and everything in between to just feel more confident in themselves and find something that we can all relate to. And lastly, I feel like this is the perfect way to end this video, but Yellow Jade brings laughter and the highest space of joy so i mean what better way to end this video that is exactly what i feel like represents me and for me to just randomly well not randomly but it's just like the universe called for for me to brand myself like that for me to be yellow jade and i feel like that fits exactly what i have been representing and what I have been 
radiating and emulating this entire time, honey. So with that being said, thank you guys for submitting your questions. I didn't get through all of them because I already know, honey, this video gonna be long. But if you guys want a part two or if you guys want to participate in my next Q&A, then be sure to follow me on Instagram because I will be posting there and keeping you guys updated. But yeah, anyways, it feels good to be back and I really just wanna say thank you guys for all being such great supporters and helping me and being patient with me as I continue to grow and evolve through this next chapter of my life in YouTube. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you liked this video, then be sure to leave your girl a thumbs up and I'll see you in the next one.